today I'm gonna to show you how to shuck oysters at home and you really only need a few things. Let's get started. There are different types of oysters, and in front of me I have a West Coast oyster and an East Coast oyster. And what distinguishes the two different types of oysters are really visual and also in taste. So this is an example of a West Coast oyster. This is a Washington State oyster. And you can see that the shell itself is kind of ruffled or fluted around the edges. It also has quite a deep cup. This in comparison to an East Coast oyster, which is a little bit more smooth. This is from Prince Edward's Island. East Coast oysters have a bigger cup, but they have a smooth exterior and less ruffles in the shell itself. So when you're purchasing your oysters from your fishmonger, you wanna make sure that there's no odor to them, only a sweet sea smell. You wanna make sure that when you bring them home, that you give them a good scrub with a brush to remove any dirt or silt that might be caught in any of the crevices of the oyster. Store them on ice in a container that drains away any of the excess water so it doesn't pool up. And also, never cover your oysters because these are alive and you will kill them. Now, let's chuck them. I'm gonna start off here with the West Coast oyster. I'm just going to sandwich the oyster in between my towel. Now, all you need is the oyster knife. Now, there are a lot of versions of oyster knives out there on the market. The two versions I have here, one is long and narrow, like this guy here. And this one's a little bit wider and comes to more of a point with a curved end to it. I like using the wider version for East Coast oysters and the thinner one for West Coast because it's thinner and I tend to think West Coast oysters are a little bit more fragile and so a thinner blade actually helps. So now what I'm gonna do is insert the tip of the knife into the hinge of the oyster, which is where the oyster shell comes to this point here. And what you wanna do is you want to apply a decent amount of pressure and kind of wiggle your knife back and forth slightly. You don't want to apply too much pressure, otherwise you run the risk of completely shattering the tip of the shell here. So once you get in, what you need to do is rock the knife back and forth and bring the knife towards yourself, gliding the knife along the top of the shell. And what you're gonna do here is there's an abductor muscle and you need to cut that abductor muscle away from the top shell. The abductor muscle is what keeps the oyster closed. So it's a muscle that's attached to the top shell and the bottom shell. So once you remove the top shell here, cut that abductor muscle along the bottom of the shell and then flip the oyster around so that the smooth part of the oyster comes up to the top. And there you go, you have a perfectly shucked West Coast oyster. And so now for my East Coast oyster, I'm gonna take the tip of my knife and again, right in the hinge of the oyster, back and forth, now, I would say start practicing or start off with East Coast oysters because they're less fragile than their West Coast cousins. I'm shimming the knife along the top shell, breaking that abductor muscle. You can see it here. Be careful not to spill any of that juice. You can see how plump and wide this East Coast oyster is. Again, cut along the bottom side, give the oyster a good flip and you have a wonderful oyster ready to eat. So as you can see, shucking oysters at home, it's not a big deal, it's not too hard. Now the best way to enjoy oysters is all on their own, but if you like a little lemon or a little cocktail sauce, by all means. Now you know the technique, enjoy guys.